Hey, Lupine here. In this video, I want to go over the Do Follow, No Follow Check add-on. So if you don't have the add-ons installed, you go to Add-ons, Show Available Add-ons. You can see the list of add-ons and then just find the one you want and install it. Once that's done, the Do Follow, No Follow Check is right here. And what this add-on does is it works with WordPress blogs and it will analyze the comments on the blogs to determine if the existing comments are do follow or no follow and thereby determine if you place a comment on that blog if it's going to be a do follow comment link or a no follow comment link. So you get a few different options here. We can load some URLs and let's load those from the harvester. I just scraped up some um, URLs from WordPress. Shuffling is going to be a good idea because if we have multiple URLs from the same domain we don't want to hit them in succession necessarily. Um, so just you know you shuffle them up and then they're out of order uh, and that sort of thing makes it convenient and you're not hammering on one particular domain. Um, then we get start and retest failed. Retest failed is great in case uh, page is not loading and that sort of thing. And then some export options which we'll talk about. I went ahead and set connections to 25 and I'm just gonna hit start and you can see as it goes through here you'll get status completed WordPress platform unknown some no follow that sort of thing so as we let it run we can see down here a nice bar graph for detected of um, no follow and do follow and then the total requests done percentage and then we get more information down here on the bottom 396 total URLs how many do follow how many no follow assumption unknown platform unknown errors etc so as we go across here, do follow, no follow is pretty straightforward. Uh, assumption unknown would be platforms that have registration required, comments closed, no comments on them at all, things like that, where it can't analyze and say what it would be for sure. A uh, platform unknown is pretty basic. It doesn't know what platform it is. It's not WordPress, so it doesn't work. Uh, errors, those would be things like uh, 404 right here, or like if a page didn't load because it timed out, that sort of thing. So that's when you can do retest failed. Um, and as you can see here, it's just finishing up. We have uh, one no f or one do follow and 49 no follow, and then the rest of them are assumption unknown. And then when it's done, we get export options. And I'll just move it up here so you can see. Uh, you can export the do follow, the no follow, or both. You can export unknown platforms, CS export entries as CSV in Excel. Then we can also send them back to the harvester in various formats. So that is how the do follow, no follow check add-on works for Scrapebox.